A federal judge has ordered the first felony defendant in the January 6th insurrection to serve eight months in prison. Florida resident Paul Allard Hodgkins is just the third person involved in the attack to be sentenced. You can see him here carrying a red Trump flag inside the Senate chamber. The judge saying, quote, the symbolism of that act was unmistakable. He was staking a claim on the floor of the U.S. Senate, not with an American flag, but declaring his loyalty to a single individual over the nation. In that act, he captured the threat to democracy that we all witnessed that day. End quote. Joining us now is Democratic Congressman Jerry Connolly of Virginia. He's a member of the Oversight and Reform and Foreign Affairs Committees. Congressman, it is uh, unusual to me that that judge captured the sentiment better than many of your Republican uh, colleagues on the floor have been able to. Yes. Uh, the judge is mired in reality what actually happened and the actions of the individual sentenced this morning and believes in accountability and fact-based jurisprudence. Uh, that, those are standards I wish my colleagues here in the Congress on the other side of the aisle would embrace. I want to uh, read a little more from what the, the judge said. Um, according to the Washington Post, the first felony defendant sentenced in the Capitol riot gets eight months in prison. The judge, uh, Moss, said the Capitol riots caused damage far greater than the few hours of delay in Congress's tallying of the electoral votes, saying it left a stain that will remain on our nation for decades. It means it will be harder for all of us to tell our children and grandchildren that democracy stands as the immutable foundation of our nation. It means we are all fearful of the next attack in a way we never were, and it makes us question whether our democracy is less secure than we believed just months ago. He called the harms enormous and chilling. How do we translate that being mired in reality as that judge is into something that actually takes this seriously and, and sets us down a path of never having to witness this again? Because as you know, Congressman, we're not substantially further uh, on that than we were on January 6th. Yeah, I, I think that's the most troubling uh, sort of after effect of January 6th, that instead of the country coming together and saying, well, we can never have this again, uh, we actually are fracturing along lines of this didn't really happen. Uh, even though we all saw it, and many of us, like myself, actually experienced it. So uh, we've got a lot of work to do in America. But step one is holding people to account, understanding there are consequences for your actions. Today is the first big step uh, down that long road in holding someone accountable for a treasonous act uh, to attempt to overthrow a free and fair election that is in the process of being certified constitutionally in the Congress, to me, is a treasonous act. And people should be held to that standard. And the judge eloquently, I think, did just that today. How do you feel, uh, you know, we're still waiting for, uh, for, for the Republicans to name their five participants. Uh, obviously, Liz Cheney has got one of the Democratic seats on, the, on the, the Congressional Commission. You had called for the president to name a presidential commission, something that he doesn't want to do. He seems to be uh, letting Congress handle this for now. How do you feel about this commission moving forward? Do you think it will achieve uh, what you're hoping it will? I felt that we needed a presidential commission, as we have had, in you know, really dire moments in our past history as a country to elevate the issue and to try to take it out of charges of partisanship. But what is more important than what kind of commission is that, in fact, we get at the truth in a formal, structured way. And Speaker Pelosi has done that. And I now hope that Kevin McCarthy, the Republican leader, will stop kissing the ring at mar a -Lago and actually genuflect to the Constitution of the United States, do the right thing, and nominate responsible members of his party who will seek out the truth no matter where it leads.